we're back out here on top secret lake p locking her down you know we're gonna be out here scanning gonna be showing you guys some map you know if you've been watching the last few fishing videos you've kind of seen the spots this isn't a huge lake so there's not a whole lot of areas that hold fish but we're gonna tie some stuff on this morning we're gonna look for some top water but we're also gonna have our swim baits we're gonna have a spoon we're gonna have i don't know hair jig a little bit of everything we're gonna be ready to rock but we'll talk about that more when we get on the water all right, sorry if there's a little bit of wind noise. We've already got some wind on here. We'll talk about conditions of the day later. But right now, like I said, you know, you can see I'm, I've been just kind of putting around, tying on, kind of graphing around the, uh, the boat ramp area. There's a few little spots right there that I like to check out. But anyway, all that being said, guys, if I get out here and I actually catch some fish today, I will show you, we will do a how-to on the Fish Life app like i said guys that helps the channel out i partnered up with uh, billy lawson your lake fork guide and joined the fish life app so make sure you go subscribe to the south eastern community and i'll show you how to drop waypoints how to uh basically use the app today if i get lucky and catch some fish now let's go fishing all right guys we're coming up on spot number one there's a little ball of shad right there now what you're seeing right here it's just debris in the water. A lot of debris on the lake, as you can see this morning. Again, you can see there's our creek channel. Here's our waypoints all up through here. Got a couple fish hanging off here, hanging off the edge. There's a few more than what's being. Oh, nice little group of fish right there. Off, just off to our side. You can see them on the side imaging. So, Nice little group right there. Starting to get more. They're starting to spread out down the lake. You can see here's a nice little arch there. You can see him. He's right there. As he goes off the screen. Maybe a couple more over here. Don't know really that this is, you know, get the spot that we want to stop in all right so we grabbed that first spot and there were a few fish there probably catchable fish on an underspin uh, and a swim bait but what we're going to do right now is we're going to look for the most amount of fish now i will tell you a lot of times when you're out on lakes especially as it gets later in the year those smaller schools learning how to how to catch those smaller schools like that everybody wants to target the big giant mega schools and that's great they will buy but everyone targets those and sometimes as as those fish get conditioned and begin to learn you know what a, what the swim baits look like what all these baits are coming by they get tougher and tougher to catch as the summer goes on so learning how to catch those or catch fish on those areas where there's two three four five small groups sometimes is more important than learning how to find those mega schools couple right there let's see them here there's another got a few over here off to the side there we go uh oh there's some good marks in there good marks in that oh yeah here we go getting some off to the side this spot is about to get right This spot is about to get right. Look at all that. All right. A lot of them down this back side here. Got some good marks in there too. That's the other thing. Good marks. See the different sizes and even those three marks right there. All right, we're gonna check our last spot. All right, so that spot number two is looking pretty ripe for the picking. They're suspended, they're spread out. 
you know what I always say when that happens? Getting out the big top water spook. We're gonna get that walking bait out and see if we can't get them to fire. I can throw the swim bait in after that. But uh, we're gonna go check our last real spot up here before we commit to that one. But that one is, it's, it's right where I like to see it when we can put some really big bags together. So maybe we can get down here, get a few bites up here on this hole, come back, get a few bites on this hole, might be able to bounce back between the three all day long. That's what you really wanna see. You wanna see all three of these holes as they start to develop throughout the year. You wanna see all three of these holes to where you can just circle. You can let fish rest on one spot, come back, come to the next spot, go to the next spot, let them rest and just cycle through these. That's when this lake gets really, really good and really, really fun. And it is getting closer and closer. As we get closer to August, we're still like the last few days of July. Let's go check the next spot. All right, guys, you can kind of see our hump. There's some shad down there. You can see our, our long point. There's our creek channel. Got a couple up here sh super shallow in the grass, five feet. Kick it out. see what we've got. Grass is getting a little taller. Oh man, are we got do we got nothing up here? There's some, there's some out here to the side. Here we go, here we go. They're down here on the ledge. They've moved down. They ain't a lot. Wow. Really surprised at how few are out here. So we may not spend a lot of time here at all. Hey, this, this may be, you know, they're very scattered. As you can see through here, got some right there. You can see one right there. There's, there's your hump in your creek back channel. So we're gonna make one more pass in just a little bit tighter. And see what we can find. Not a lot of, not a lot of life up here. What we'll do is we'll fish this with what I call the go-to baits, that underspin, that swim bait, and if we don't get some sort of takers on that, we'll quickly abandon this spot. This has been the spot, the money spot for the past week. But like I said, they begin to spread out throughout the, the lake. Here we got a couple of trees over there. You should see them poking out here on the side. Get in here real tight. We'll go right down this ledge. on this spot but uh, we ain't gonna spend a lot of time up here after what we're seeing down there Boys, that feels like a good one. Oh God, it is. 
Get in here, biggin. Whoo! That's why you throw them. That's why you throw them right there. Sweet. Number two. He ain't as big as the first, but he's a pretty one. And he knocked the piss out of this. Pretty fish. All right, there's another one. Look how fat that fish is. Short and fat. You can tell he's been feeding. All right, spot number one has paid off with three good fish. We uh, are gonna move to spot number two. See you in just a minute.
Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how to add and how to use the Fish Life app. We've caught a few today, all three out of the same spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, we're gonna drop one waypoint right on that spot. I kind of pulled over in some shade to uh, cool off cause it's hot, man, it's muggy as get out today. I mean, it's it's muggy. I mean, I as you can see, this ain't all sweat. This is some from the from the fish, and I put a little water on my head earlier, but it's hot. It is hot. So let's look at how to use the Fish Life app, how to put waypoints in, along with a lot of other stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to show you real quick how to drop a waypoint and how to see waypoints when you're on the water. All right, so the very first thing, of course, free to register, but to see the waypoints, you must subscribe and it is a paid subscription, but guys, you get fresh information every 60 days. So you know what the fish are doing right now, as opposed to what they were doing three years ago, two years ago, or even two to three months ago. All right, so the very first thing guys, you know, you got some premium apps right here. But what I want you to do is go to the community tab or the community button right down here at the bottom. Now, as you can see, I am subscribed to the Southeast Community Region, which is Kentucky, Tennessee, South Carolina, and North Carolina. But today we are fishing in Virginia. So we're gonna drop a waypoint out of my region, but I would appreciate because I fish primarily these four states, Tennessee and Kentucky a ton, uh, is where I fish, but South Carolina, North Carolina, I fish them quite a bit also and uh, have got some pretty good spots that you guys are going to want to go check out if you're in that area. And you can share spots with me, which will help the old bass geek in uh, catching some fish and making some videos. So here's the two areas. If you're going to drop a waypoint, you're going to go to suggest spot. If you're gonna look for spots, you're gonna actually click on the community. So remember, Southeast Community Region is where I reside. Now we can see here, here is Douglas, for example. So I can come in here and I can check out Douglas. Here we go. Go pitch all day, topwater poppers, buzz baits. Well, I'll work in the morning chatter baits if the water has good stain and there's all kinds of brush and stuff in there. Once you zoom in, you can actually see it. You want some deeper holes? Right here we go, crank the ledge uh, of the ditch on this point. 10XD is what it will take to get down to the school. So, you know, we've got all kinds of waypoints on all kinds of lakes. From Del Hollow to Cumberland, to the Barren River, to Chickamauga, Chickamauga. I never can say that right. But anyway, so if you're on a lake, this is where you're gonna wanna go. Now, the good thing is this is GPS enabled. So if you're on the lake and you pull the app up, you'll be able to search the lake. If you're uh, not on the lake and you're just doing some pre-fishing research, you can go browse and, and scroll through all kinds of lake yeah, lakes. We've got, you know, share uh, lots of North Carolina lakes, lots of South Carolina lakes. So now let's go back and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to drop a waypoint. Like I said, go into the community tab. Let's go to suggest a spot. Now, as you can see, uh, I'm recording this when I'm not on the water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom out here because I know right where this lake is. We're gonna slowly zoom in. Oop, a little, a little fast there. May have lost my way there, there we go. This is my top secret Lake P, so nobody be telling anybody where this is. And the area that we were catching fish at today is right here. So we're going to go ahead and drop a waypoint. 
And so we're going to set here and we are going to add in our title. Now we can click and upload a picture if we want to, but uh, we'll just add in, we'll call it uh, long point creek channel. Can't even spell right today. And of course, they're not even going to suggest a point. So, oops, there we go. And then we're going to give a description. So, So there we go. So I'm gonna say fish natural swim baits, underspins, and soft jerk baits deep here in the summer. Have a top water at the ready. So there we go. Now the good thing about this is, and this is what's great, every single waypoint that we put in or that anybody puts in is actually reviewed to make sure it's just not garbage, like it's not in the wrong place. So we verify these waypoints so that they are correct for you so that we can all go catch fish. So guys, make sure you go subscribe to that Southeast community region. Make sure you share some waypoints for me, help the Bass Geek become a better angler, and I'll share some waypoints for you and help you become a better angler. So make sure you go check out the Fish Life app and join the community. Be my neighbor. <laughs> All right, let's get back to fishing. All right, guys, so it was another tough day. We did put three in a boat, three good ones. You know, those three probably, you know, maybe would have went eight pounds, I'd say. Uh, the first one I caught was probably three and a quarter, three and a half, and then the other two were well into the two and a half, two and three quarter area. So some pretty decent fish, but uh, you know, for, the middle of July or the end of July. Hey, I wanna give my buddy North Fork Fishing a huge shout out. I wanna show you something that he sent me here. He is painting baits. I'll put a link down in the description. This is his take on one of my favorite colors. You guys hear me talk about it all the time. And that is the Tennessee Shad. Uh, I know this is, isn't showing up great right here, but he did a fabulous job. That is an awesome bait. And I'll be honest with you, I don't even want to fish it. It looks so good. I may uh, just put it up and uh, uh, save it as one of my thank yous uh, from North Fork. But make sure you go check him out on Instagram. Like I said, I'll put a link down in the description so that you can go uh, check him out on Instagram. Check him out on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to him. You know, we threw everything at him but the kitchen sink today. Uh, the fluke was really the star. Uh, we got the first bite on a modified natural shad. I'll do a little quick tip or how to on swim bait modifications, some of the swim bait modifications that I make. As uh, that was where the big bite came from, first thing in the morning. And I mean, there was no bones about that. He didn't pick it, it just loaded up heavy and you just swing away. All right, guys, as always, things are going to get better. This lake is going to get better as we get into August. Make sure you keep watching. Let me know some things you want to see down in the description. I hope I'm getting the little boat out. Uh, maybe when I get my next seven days off, I've got it all set up and ready to go. Uh, like I always say, guys, you know, I don't do this for a living. I am just like one of you guys. I am a weekend warrior. And so, you know, it's easy for those guys. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's easy for those guys that do it five days a week to be on big fish. This is more realistic to what you guys who are fishing a day a week, if you're like me and you're lucky, can go out and accomplish. And sometimes, you know, you're on these tough lakes like this one, three good fish, that's a great day. All right, so as always, like it. Oh, wait.
questions, comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk about fishing with you, and I do love to talk about fishing with you, so leave those comments down there. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so you get the notifications when the Bass Geek videos come out. Thanks for being part of the Bass Geek Nation. 37,000 strong now. And uh, as always, you guys rock.